Charlie Fudge was 12 when he learned to never judge a book by its cover. I thought this was a beautiful building. The Dozier School for Boys became a house of horrors. Give me 31 licks with a leather strap by a man 200 pounds. I'm 74 years old. This has lived with us our whole lives. He was one of four victims to speak to the Florida Senate's Criminal Justice Committee on Wednesday as they try to explain why they should receive victim status and compensation. I survived Vietnam and I survived Dozier. Dozier being the hardest of the two. The wards of the state were raped, beaten and humiliated by the state that was supposed to be caring for them and helping them turn their lives around. Why is it so well imprinted on our minds still like all these years, you know? I never talked about it. I became an alcoholic. A state investigation in 2010 closed the school after showing there was rampant abuse between the 1940s and 70s. St. Pete Senator Darrell Roussan introduced the bill that would qualify the survivors as victims so they can eventually receive compensation. Words were the apology. Words were the acknowledgement. Now we must act on that. The Senate panel approved the bill unanimously, continuing it on its journey, they hope, to the full Senate for a vote. I would have been 14 years old too, and by the grace of God, there, there I might have been there too. All the money in the world can't heal every wound, but it helps when you're living on Social Security. That would make us guys uh, uh, so happy for the rest of the days that we have here. Happiness for them has been hard to come by. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.